In this video, you'll learn how to turn your Instagram account into a lead generation machine using Instagram Reels and AI chatbots in high level. I'm bringing in my buddy Charles to this video, who's an AI expert, the founder of Rojo AI, which is a third party company that plugs in to go high level and allows you to build insane AI chatbots. And so he's gonna show us how it's done. All right, so today I have Charles Anthony with me. He's the founder of Rojo AI. If you guys aren't familiar with Rojo AI, it's a software that plugs in to go high level and you can build AI chatbots with it. Um, you can do AI chatbots and go high level natively with the conversation AI feature you guys have probably heard of, but Rojo AI is like a million times better than the conversational AI and go high level because one, it has context to what's already been said in the conversation. So it like knows what the person, the contact you've been messaging with has already said. It'll update, it'll update them in the pipeline to the appropriate stage that they belong to based on what they actually say in the conversation. It'll take notes on them. It'll place tags on them as the conversation happens. So you can go back after the conversation's been had and you can see all the notes and everything that was said in the conversation. And it's cheaper. You can have unlimited sub accounts, um, unlimited AI chatbots for a fixed price. So uh, it's, it's really a no brainer. And uh, Charles is the man. So uh, I'm going to have him kind of show us through the software here. We have a custom menu link we added in here and uh, we're just going to kind of go through and he's going to explain how to set it up and everything. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jasper. Uh, thanks for having me on here. Um, but yeah, so uh, just diving right into it, I guess. So the knowledge base right here, this is, I guess, you know, all the information about your business um, that you want to give the bot. And you really don't have to put too many here. Um, you know, I would recommend, honestly, no more than 20. Um, you know, the AI can assume a lot of stuff. Um, it, it, you know, it's, it's pretty smart by itself. Um, but yeah, and we, we format it as FAQs and kind of like maybe example messages too. And you see that we make it super conversational. So uh, the more conversational you make the FAQ, right? The the more conversational the bot is going to be. But that's the knowledge over there. And um, Let me jump in real quick too. You can also plug in any website domain. Uh, so like when we first created the bot out here, we hit create bot and we plug in any website domain that you want the bot to be trained on and it'll scrape the entire domain and it'll train itself on whatever website you want to plug in right here. And so that's actually like super powerful. If you just want to speed up the process of the training, you can just plug in your business's website and it'll it'll plug in the FAQs in here automatically from the ones that are on the site. So I thought that was pretty important to mention. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, you know, training from the website just speeds up the process by a lot. So, um, you know, but and then yeah, we have the script over there as well. Um, you can book conversationally um, on your high level calendars. Right. Or you can just send them a, a website link there. So for this specific bot, we're just going to have it, you know, send a link that Jasper's put in there and then the script slash conversation flow here. Again, this is just kind of like guidelines. It's not going to say this stuff verbatim. You know, it's going to um, obviously uh, take into account what the lead said, but it's these are more just like a, kind of like steps in the in the process of the pipeline. But um, you can see we're just going to ask them, have you started using high level yet, DHL, right? Um, and then you'll notice too, like step one is saying send the intro message. And that's because we want step one and the intro message to kind of be related, right? And then we only have two other steps. Let's see, right? Um, ask them if they're looking to start a free trial and then send them the link. So super simple here, right? Uh, that's all we really need to do. And that's the best part about Roho, right? It's so, so easy to set up your bots and start booking conversation or start booking appointments uh, conversationally, like a uh, super, super easy. So what about this part, Charles, right here? Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I just... So that's a pretty cool feature, right? Um, basically, if you turn that on, what it will do on the back end is actually um, like insert a script step in step two after the intro message that says ask for their phone and email. Because um, if you're on Instagram and Facebook, right? It is important, uh, you know, to get that leads information. So, you know, you can turn that on and off. Um, but yeah, basically what it'll do is kind of just override and make step to ask them for their email and phone number. Um, but yeah. And I didn't know if you guys knew this, but uh, basically under the contact section where your leads are captured, if somebody sends you through a DM, like a phone number or an email with like an at symbol at Gmail at Yahoo, Go High Level automatically updates and stores that information with the contact. So if you have, if you ask conversationally for a phone number and email, go high. It doesn't have to be a form that they fill out or anything like that. Go high level automatically add that to their contact info. So that's cool that that that's thrown in there. That's a really helpful feature. And yeah. then what about down here? So that's kind of the, like the extra instructions, right? Um, really, you don't have to put anything at all. It's kind of funny, right? By default, I have it say be chill, um, right? But maybe um, you want to have something like okay, keep your messages less than two sentences, or make sure you do this, right? Um, and again, really, it shouldn't be more than a couple sentences there. And it's optional, really. But yeah. And that's the big thing I like about the Rojo is that it actually like keeps your messages short. Like I've used the Go High Level Conversation AI and like the actual workflow where you can like add in the chat GPT steps. And the stuff it spits out is like crazy long. It's like paragraphs that it's typing out to people. 
and it just doesn't sound human a lot of times. So what Charles has done is insanely awesome. It just sends like short little sentence or two sentence messages. And it just sounds, it really does sound like a person. Like it, it's straight up, it's freaky how good it is. So uh, we're going to test it out here in a second, show you guys, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we have a few other uh, things on the side there. So like the follow-up schedule is pretty awesome. You know, you can actually schedule follow-ups without the workflow. So I'm sure you guys, you know, I've made follow-up workflows in GHL, but this actually handles it through the API, uh, which is awesome. So you can set the, you know, the time, and the instructions there. Um, and then we also have custom variables, which is another really powerful tool. Uh, so, you know, it'll actually update custom fields and add tags uh, based on what you put in there. So you can see we have like a already signed up tag, true or false, right? It's basically going to add that tag if they say that they uh, already signed up for um, GHL. So that's nice. It just keep, helps keep all your leads organized with tags. So that's awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Super, super powerful feature. And then, of course, you know, we uh, track the conversations and, um, right, see all that stuff there. And then if you go to appearance, right? That's where you can uh, test it out. You can toggle the lead form on and off. Um, but yeah, the, the true, you know, power of this comes from when you connect it to those other messaging channels, like, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and SMS. Um, so I think we were going to connect it to Instagram today, right, Jasper? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, go high level just came out with a new feature where you can trigger an automation off of an Instagram real comment or just any Instagram comment on your Instagram posts, which a lot of you have probably heard of many chat. And that was a big feature of many chat. It's like when people commented the word, you know, business on your reel that you posted, you could send them something automatically in the DMs. Go High Level's never been able to do that until now. And so connecting that with the AI is going to be like absolute game changer for people who are posting organically on social media, um, which is an amazing way to grow your brand. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and set that up real quick. We'll show you guys how to do that here under automations. I already created one here. Um, but yeah, Charles, walk us through how it works. Sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, before we do that, we got to get the bot ID. So that's the one thing we need from Roho, right? Is uh, just the bot ID. So if we go there, click on our bot and just press the copy, um, because we're gonna paste that in to tell you know which bot to respond with. And now let's go to automations. Um, mm. and this guy's yeah, this is actually insane. Uh, like this new feature that GHL just released is crazy. Like it's insane. The fact that you can start a conversation from a comment, you're basically turning your whole comment section into leads. Like it's crazy. But so we're just gonna add a new trigger here. Um, and I think yeah, just look at like comment. Or yeah, this Instagram comment, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so then you would select your Facebook page, right? And right, so your Instagram has to be connected to a Facebook page, but um, it, it is Instagram, right? Even though it says page, it's still Instagram. And then you can select which post uh you want to trigger this off of, right? So maybe it's a yeah, just publish we'll just post, do, probably. Do publish post that'll be all posts, right? Like any real. Um, and then the last one is like uh, you can select which um like post to trigger it off of, or you can just delete that, right? If you want to have it trigger off any uh, post, yeah, then you could just delete the last one there. Um, we'll just just have it trigger off all of them and then um can we set yeah. like certain yeah like exact match phrases and stuff like that like if they comment a certain word that we tell right. them to yeah exactly so like similar to like you know stuff with mini chat you can literally just make a reel and say like comment sass or like comment ai or like comment test right um and then this will uh, trigger the automation so business yeah we'll do actually let's do uh software Cause that's, that's one that I've actually used on, on some of my uh, recent Instagram reels. So can you do multiple exact matches or can we only set up one? Do we have to set up a different automation if we want to use or a different trigger event if we want it to trigger off of a different? Yeah, I think we would have to have a, uh, another trigger um, okay. for that. Usually but, yeah. people using, I mean, usually people are using like the same words. They're usually like, salt. maybe they have like a few different words that they tell people to comment, but they're probably not going to use like a brand new word every time. So I think if you just created a trigger for like each of your keywords that you always tell people to comment, it'd, it'd be really easy to set up. So if, yeah, just duplicate this trigger event and and set it up, but change the keyword if you use any other keywords that you tell people to comment on your videos. But yeah, and then uh, track first level comments only. Uh, should we? Yeah, so I'll switch up. Yeah, switch that on. Yeah, um, because otherwise it will trigger like based off like you know the replies in the comment section. But yeah, and then save trigger. Good deal. Um, and then if you press add action. So another thing that GHL just added, which is, you know, crazy is you can actually respond to the comment. So if you scroll up and press uh, or search respond, or maybe you just press comment with a comment. Yeah, Here. reply in comments. Um, so this is another crazy feature, right? Um, for any business owner, right? You can actually reply to the uh, comments using GHL here. Um, which is something like, that. yeah, exactly. So you can, you know, tell them something like, hey, check your DMs or, hey, I just sent you the information or like um sending that over uh and you can add multiple responses and it'll choose randomly from those but yeah we'll just do these ones 
Okay, cool. And then we can also like the comment. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. And then guys, um, so press the plus and add another one. And then scroll down to AI workflow steps. So guys, now we're actually going to get into the AI workflow steps. Um, all you have to do is press the start bot, start AI bot. By the way, you guys won't have those. These are once you download Roho and you get access to Roho, then you'll get access to those steps at the bottom. Those are just Roho specific. Um, so by default, if you guys are looking, trying to follow this video, you won't be able to do it unless you have Ro Roho already. But um, anyway, go ahead, Charles. Yeah, exactly. No, those are like the marketplace app, right? Um, workflows. But um, so yeah, all we do is literally just paste the bot ID in there. So I think it's still in your clipboard. Um, yeah. And then lead info, you can put like specific information. Um, like you can say like leads first name is contact got first name, right? Um, or maybe it's like a real estate um funnel and you're like, this is their address or something like that, right? Um, so that's the lead info, right? And then channels. Um, you can just select which channels to start on. So we're gonna do Instagram and press save. Um, and that's all we have to do. That's literally all we have to do to start the bot. Um, so it's all handled on the back end using GHL's new API, which is amazing, right? The V2 API. Um, so it's gonna add some tags to the contact, um, but it's also just gonna handle all that on the back end for you guys. Like that's how easy it is. Um, that's sick. one trigger, two steps. Yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. so simple. Like <laughs> the AI bot is one step. Like for all you guys building the uh, AI chatbots with conversational AI with Go High Level or with uh, even with like Zappy Chat and with uh, the uh, workflow steps where you can add like the Chat GPT steps. Uh, it looks like they took them off. They used to have like the oh, it's right here. Power Chat. Oh, you can still add these steps and create bots that way. But like I said, it's it's like way worse. It'll send super long bulky messages to your leads and it's just not nearly as good. Um, but anyway, the let's... simplicity of setting it up. Yeah, that's the most, you know, that's the best part too. It's like, it's so easy to set up. Um, you don't have to be like an expert prompt engineer or anything. You know, all you have to do is just put your website in and then add that one workflow step. But especially yeah. for, for agency owners, like you guys can, uh, like Charles said before, you can have unlimited accounts with Roho uh, for a fixed price. So like you can resell these AI chatbots to your clients and uh, you can set it up like literally as quick as we just did in like a couple minutes. So it'll just make onboarding your clients and setting up these chatbots like a super awesome product to sell and, and really easy for you to set up on the back end. So, all right, can we test it out now? Now that we finished, I think we just needed to go up here, add in the settings, allow re-entry, publish it and then save it. But yeah, let's test it out. Uh, if you want to comment on one of my, my yeah, real- Yeah, sure. Wait, what was, the, uh, what was the keyword again? It was software or- yeah, software. Just comment software on any of my risks. I think that's how we, yeah, we set it up as software here in the automation. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to jump over to the conversations tab. And uh, in a second here, once Charles comments that, we should be able to see that DM come through. All right, so now we have Charles' DM here. Or he, sorry, he commented um, on the post. It mm -hmm. probably responded to your comment and said, hey, I sent you a DM. Did, did that come through on the comment? Yeah. Yeah. And then I got a DM just from commenting. Like that's the craziest part, right? Like literally started a conversation, um, liked the comment, replied to my comment. So now we just turned a single comment into a lead, but yeah. Have you started using high level yet? No, I haven't. I want to though. And another really cool thing about Roho is that, um, we still have the message queue, right? So we can respond three times in a row, send three messages or two messages, and it's going to wait a little bit and then respond back with one message um you know which is which is huge so that's cool yeah because all the other ais if you send if somebody double messages you it'll like double message them back and send two messages but yeah look right there boom that's great to hear if you're interested right. i can offer the 30-day trial with my link i'll be there to help you set up everything over free zoom calls how does that sound so yeah it only sent one message back dang that's awesome and it sounds very like 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 we had it in the instructions it said be chill like it sounds super right. chill it only sends short messages it's not sending like these huge paragraphs like some of the other ais um and then exactly just... and but if you if you you know maybe working for a company that you want it to be professional of course you can do that as well you know you can literally just say be professional that simple so true right. you're awesome god here you're interested here's the link to get started with your 30-day free trial just click on it and we can get everything set up for you do you have any specific goals or needs in mind right so yeah so that's crazy so simple, <laughs> so simple guys that simple to literally create and use Roho, right? And yeah. And and y'all, this is like, so I've been doing Instagram for about a year and like the best type of reels, if you guys are looking to do organic content, like we set up in this video where somebody comments a certain word on your reel, if you, if you use that as a call to action at the end of your reels, it gets more engagement on your post because people will start commenting, getting 
you know, you can promise some sort of free lead magnet if they comment the word software. Maybe you have a free course or a free PDF or some sort of free download. Um, and you can send it to them first and then you can initiate the AI bot. Anyway, I appreciate you helping us set this up, Charles. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, of course, Jasper. Thank you for having me on here. If you want to start using Roho AI for your agency or business, I'm going to drop the link to it down below. And if you haven't started using high level yet, or maybe you're using many chat, you can delete many chat and do everything inside of high level. Now you can get a 30 day free trial of it down below with my affiliate link. And if you sign up with that link, I'll jump on free zoom calls with you twice a week and help you set up everything and just answer any questions you have while you're building your agency or your business. Other than that, I appreciate y'all love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.